Optimus Prime from Rise of the Beasts. So let's give this a go. I'm on a landscape page, use pencil racer, hip pause, but go too fast. His shoulders are huge, like his body is way bigger, and he's got like a sm small head. So the head's like right up here. Center point of my page is about there. We're just gonna come up a little bit and add the head up here at the top of the page. I'm gonna actually start with like his his mask sort of area right usually start with eyes and stuff but just because of the shape of this guy i'm gonna start with his sort of face shield kind of thing so let us go so we'll go across right it's kind of it's relatively flat it might like it might like bend a little bit but it's relatively flat Cross like that right so then we have this section of the nose that comes down here and then the sides come down like this and then we go in towards his chin Lots of sharp angles, like so, and then across. And then this area of the nose, right, is connected to the chin. So this is a similar sort of thing down here, like that. And then these come down just to there. Okay. And he's got lines all over, all over this pretty much so we'll go like an edge line just across here first and then we seem to have like a circular line here just at the corner of his face and then we'll put like another one up here and you just got to keep sort of adding these lines that break up face lines pretty much it's more or less symmetrical so you're trying to copy one side off the other so say if I just say if we go this side first And then we'll, we'll attempt to copy this as best we can over the other side. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, the other line here. Right, so so the side of his face, right? So we kind of go, we go sort of diagonal here, and then it goes up, right? And then we go diagonal, up. And then he's got like a frowning sort of helmet line that comes across here takes up frowning line taken up there and then comes across the middle so his eyes are in this space so we'll go sort of heavy frown right so we'll go diagonal across up the back and in and these are like just glowing blue you could add in the whites, you know, like all the machinery and stuff if you're able to do that, but it's just so small. I'm just going to go like a glowing white sort of orb. So you could, maybe you could like draw in a little sort of section, just brackets, just for where the white would be in there. 
and then it'd be like bright blue around it. So then, other eye, cross up back to there, and we'll put in sort of just that section. There's an eye there as well. So then this is all broken up again into sort of different metallic sections. Lots of these little lines that sort of separate different sections of his face. And you could do as much of this as you want really. Sort of around his eye, right? So we'll go up for his antenna then. He's kind of like Batman. So he's got like his his sort of big ears that stick up this way. They kind of step in and then up again. Out. Same on this side, pretty much in up or diagonal in that way. Damn, so complicated enough drawn now. So take your time. And this will have maybe like some extra edge lines and things on them. Just go down this way, nice. down that way. Yeah, we just keep going pretty much straight down here. And then these come across into the bottom of his face. Down past his jaw to there and then the top of his head seems to come across here and it's got like a piece of metal in the middle and you go down the other side there so then he has ears that stick off the side there and same on the other side them about the same size roughly and then there's all these lines on the inside here so with metallic things you gotta like break them up just like as best best you can really like you're just kind of adding these edge lines and things different shapes Just trying to keep it the same on both sides and this is all sort of textured and stuff all inside here as well And then he has um, a sort of a diamond kind of shape in the middle of his head. So it goes out like that, and then it goes up around the top, like so. And then it has an interior, so you just go around that again. Like so. And then this is all stuff inside of it as well with different shapes all like 
so and then it has like a side that goes up and then down the middle like so and then there's another line here here around the head like that and maybe like an edge just on his brow here you know, if you want like textures and scratches and stuff dots like that right so that's basically his face right there is more detail like in the movie and stuff but like that's done with computers <laughs> and i'm not a computer so let's uh, move on so his body let's see okay right okay so shields on top of glass all right so let's do this so diagonal here diagonal here and they go across like that step up this way and it goes diagonal down a little bit like that we do the same on this side i'll try and simplify this now as best i can and then we go down to there down to there and then it steps in down again back across in down again back across i think this just goes the whole way across then we have like an angled line so like here And this just goes this way then. So this is like a piece of metal that protects the, the glass, right? So it has like these boxes and like it'll be textured and stuff. So there's like bolts and it's like glass doors kind of thing right so you want to like add like dots and textures and stuff and maybe like an edge line because it's a piece of metal right so a little trick when you're drawn to make something look three-dimensional is to add that kind of a line on the edge so then the windshield so yeah Okay, so it comes out, down, out, in, down this way. Same thing. So the window. So it's like a window there. This goes down like a bit further. Okay, so I'm trying to figure it out now as I go. So, all right, we'll just do these boxes. We'll just move, like, make it a bit quicker. So we got like, this comes down that way. Goes down a bit further to like there. seems to go the whole way down to there okay and then we go across up and across to here okay and then we have windows inside this is like another 
window area. I think it has windshield wipers, but I think I'll just leave them off. So you can add them if you want. This is like a red window. Edge line just comes up here. And it has two separate panes of glass. And again, like some, you could put a crack in one of them. And then we'll go across here again. there with some texture like so and then like some edge lines and little metal box lines and stuff just coming across here all right and that's red and then textures and stuff okay so the shape for his body then so we have like another metal part that sticks out goes in another metal part sticks out goes in okay and then this comes down it's all jaggedy kind of because it's all pipe work and you know lots of different things right it comes down like this Right, and then we got we got to break all this up. So he's got like the Autobot symbol in there as well. But we'll just we'll just add like all these bars and stuff in here first, like squares, like that. Another plate comes across down the other side up to there and then this has another section inside here okay like that and then circles so when you're drawing mechanical objects, it's always like pretty complicated. So take your time. We have this box here as well on this side. And this has like a circle inside as well. And then like lots of edge lines and things. Right, and then there's like a pipe or something here. Another bar inside there. Edge line. Right, and then we have, so like pieces of metal piece of metal, of course there is. So there's like one here, like that. And then we got an edge line to it. Right, and then there's like a line running straight down. With like a bolt or something here. Right, and then we just separate this up. And then there's like bolts that go down this way. So we've got these like round heads. Going that way, and they've got like bolts on the top. 
and then lines coming down here. more metal work there and like some more here Divide all this up to different shapes, like so. Do, do, do. Okay, so I think that's the best I can do for his body. So in here we have the transformer sort of face symbol. I'll do it in black. It isn't white usually. And so we've got this little triangle sort of thing here. Triangle inside. Ears. Nose, like the face, mouth, and then eyes. Lines coming down the face like that. And then two lines here. Okay, and then this grill. Sort of has lines coming across it as well. And there's all lines on his chest here too. And then his neck. Okay, that's complicated. You could make it more complicated if you wanted, but I don't know who would want to. So it's all kind of black and gray down here and then like red and blue and stuff. So, arms. So we've got like his sort of armpit kind of area just here, right? With all these kind of nuts and bolts sticking out of it, right? So these kind of circular things and kind of this as well. All right, and then top of the arm there. And then we have the red box sticking out here. Okay, then you kind of just connect that up somehow. Uh, right, kind of like that. Just make sure it connects to the arm. Right. Right, and then like the side of the arm goes down here in. And there's all these pieces of metal. Arm goes off very big. Arm goes off that way, right? And I'm putting all these angled lines and stuff on it. So like say. Look 
goes off like that. And so this is like, so it's got like engine parts and stuff. So it's got like a thing on top there. And then a cylinder. It's the exhaust that you see on top of trucks. So like this goes. Up that way, well, like that, and then this has like lines that divide that all up. You do the same thing pretty much over this side, You've got this kind of box on top, and then that cylinder. He's got like gaskets and stuff on his neck as well. I forgot to add like. Let me do this other one. There. And then, right, so there's a red line here. Could be like an edge line going down there. And then a red line here. And then there's like two circles. And there's Autobot symbols there as well, but it's, it's just like that. If you wanted to put them on it, you can. Right, and then, so we have to sort of break up this area into boxes and different sort of shapes. Seems to be like discs or circles here. Trying to add some edge lines to all this stuff. Vents and things. Dupe. You can add as much detail, texture and all that kind of stuff. We'll break this up as well. Complicated, complicated. So I'm just trying to break it up like as best I can. <laughs> like edge lines on all these pieces of metal. just kind of thicken up some of these lines.
nice. But I think that's the best I can do. Of course, if you want to add more Autobot symbols, they're complicated drawing. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.